giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. fun. <laughs> In third place, you've got Team Nine Eight Three again, um, consisting of members Tom, Andrew, Ben, Ethan, and Will from FTC Team Fifty Forty Nuts and Bolts, and they were the third place winning team for the Containment Design Challenge. Now, really, right off the bat. This robot shocked us all with its unique and innovative design. And this robot features a mechanism wheel drive train with uh, raised rhino wheels uh, that allow it to get over the uh, valley without beaching on the actual valley uh, game element. Now, this robot features a wall, a literal wall of flex wheels, really expensive, but who does it care in a catathon, <laughs> in order to intake both toxins and catalysts into the robot. And it even features a pair of linear servos to intake the, uh, the entire mechanism beyond the 18 inch restriction. And we don't really see linear servos being used in uh, any FTC game, even in real life or in a catathon. So this team using such a mechanism like that really set us apart for both the Innovate Award and in the overall rankings. Uh, we really love the team's vertical four bar, being able to collect and deposit catalysts and lids all in one simple mechanism. And again, something that really set this robot apart from other robots were the use of multiple kinds of sensors to enhance the robot's performance on the game field. And just a listing off a few, they've got a MA3 absolute encoder to track the rotation of the vertical forearm a rev through bore encoder to track the location of the top of the box lift, as well as something we're seeing a lot more of in actual in real life FTC, a T265 camera uh, in place of odometry wheels to identify and track toxins on the field during the autonomous period. As you can see on the screen, the team's robot profile was also very, very professionally made. One of probably my favorite, if not my favorite, uh, one of my favorites of the entire robot profile. And it really just highlighted all the unique mechanisms that made the robot stand out amongst the crowd. For sure, this uh, that documentation is really incredible, um, for sure. And the level of detail in this CAD really blew me away, down to like the team marker, um, showing their alliance. And this was another one of my favorite intakes, one that I think would really work It'd be expensive, but it would be, I think, pretty effective. Um, their deposit was super solid, and they every time I looked at this team and remember that they were in third place, it blew me away because th there's no way they should have won. Um, but our top two teams are also very incredible, and I can't believe that we have the amount of talent that this team, this incredible team, was in third. So yeah, so now we get to move into the team that placed second. And so that is team 358, a mm -hmm. four-person team of Joe, Ashray, Jason, and Jack from four FTC teams, uh, 4600, I don't know how to do the zeros in FTC, 10-5-15, 15-0-22, 15-0-23, and 87-88. And... I just have to say before I start going into the details of this team that when we were first doing our kind of look through of the robots and I have my just paper notes written here, I just have a heart written next to this robot in my <laughs> notebook. Um, this robot truly made our jaws drop. It was visually stunning, super effective. And in their robot profile, they explained their engineering design process and game analysis and highlighted all the key aspects of their robot. It's really a, like like we saw kind of a third place as we go into these top teams. It's not only just their robots that are like out, out, outstanding, it's their um, packets too. And you can see right now, they even gave us some animations of their robot in action. Um, their unique drivetrain had a custom gearbox that makes the valley no problem. Uh, their intake is super innovative. They used a belted intake to transfer the toxins and catalysts from the field to inside the robot. They have a gravity-assisted sorting mechanism that was a huge fan of that separated the toxins and catalysts from scoring. So there's no worry of like when you're intaking both toxins and catalysts ending up 
accidentally putting a toxin in your catalyst container and then it's all a mess. Um, they have, they use the simple force of gravity to make that happen. And they are capable of scoring multiple catalysts at the same time. Super fast, super efficient, make just skyrocketing that final score. This mm -hmm. team just is truly astonishing and just they had so much going for them. And you can see we even have one last animation. They animated springs, people. Uh, I love their intake. Um, this is definite. I think this is my favorite intake of the CAD challenge. It's really innovative. It's cool. It is something you could make in real life um, without looking too crazy. And overall, I think I need to offset how down I was on some intakes. This one blew me away. <laughs> Yeah, and I think I've seen that color scheme somewhere before. Um, I'm pretty sure we all know where it's from, but it it does look really good. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. hard to beat. Yeah. All right. We ready for number one? If you haven't figured it out already. All right. I think, number one I think, is Team 420. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Twitch chat figured it out. They're all saying it. There's a poll earlier. It's Team 661 Redacted. Featuring some names that I am going to mess up. So here we go. It is Sri Charan and Athul from 9614, Pranay from 16236, Stephen from 479, and McCunth from 7303. Um, this robot, looking at this robot, every single part just blew me away with the attention to detail and the complexity that was just everywhere and how well that it was catted. Um, I just was stunned by how good the CAD was and um, it's just insane. They had something unique and something crazy on every, almost every single part of their robot um, from the scar linkage on their container intake to the uh, suspension six wheel drive uh, to help them clear the valley and the two-speed PTO that they have on their folding bar, fold, the bar that folds down on the intake, everything just had something special to it. And I think that's what really set this robot apart was just how much detail and time went into everything. This is another one of those robots that you can dig into and just find more and more cool things and like zoom in super far in the lift and see something interesting and innovative and that has a lot of detail to it um, and it just feels like every part of this robot was designed with care and had an amount of depth that was just stellar yeah and their documentation was almost unrivaled it was mm -hmm. really really good um, and I think just the combination of everything they did so well just put them ahead of everybody else um, there's just a, just a list of like everything I can think of that was just crazy about this robot it was the two speed PTO, the, the, the suspension six wheel drive. They had a differential belt PTO on their lift. They had a scar linkage to help um, line up the containers uh, for placing them on the shelf since they'd had a six wheel drive and they don't have the maneuverability of Mechanum. Um, it's just crazy how much thought they put into everything. Mm -hmm. And yeah. not only was the robot amazing, the documentation was also very great. The renders showed off the robot, and it showed how the robot was designed and just told us so much more than we would have known just from the CAD. Sure. Yeah, the yeah. black and white aesthetics really set it apart. Mm -hmm. Just the black and white monochrome, even though it just seems like, you know, kind of not very detailed, is <laughs> extremely powerful in the way that it's kind of, you know, a bit intimidating for other robots that are playing on the field, you know. You know, whenever you play in real life, you're just a rookie team and gluten free sets their robot apart from it. You're like, oh, no. So this is this is like almost a robot that does the, almost the exact same factor. This robot goes against you. You have to really, really do well in order to uh, you know, beat them. This was an incredibly great. Well done, CAD. Congrats to every single people uh, person on the team. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations, I have to say. Mm -hmm. And they called their catalyst mechanism the catalyst yeeter. So how could we yeah. not give them first? <laughs> there you go. And, and honestly, congratulations to all the teams we judged. Um, everybody did a great job. 
And I think everyone probably walked out of this with more CAD knowledge and just overall being more comfortable and ready and prepared for the next season. Uh, it was a pleasure to be able to judge all of your robots. Yep, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Fun FTC and Tyler. Thank you uh, for you know helping us in such uh, short notice. Very great. Uh, we really love being on the uh, Fun FTC network, and we hope we'll be back later. Uh, also, I do see that we have to do a shout out. Uh, I have to plug it. I know he's my friend. I got to. Uh, <laughs> just uh, you've got Jose, Brian, and Wes. They are hosting another CAD challenge that's going to be starting in the next few days. The Caravan CAD Challenge or CCC. Uh, we'll be starting in the next few days, so make sure you guys join that catathon as well. Hopefully, they'll be able to finish judging way faster than we can. Um, <laughs> and really, it's amazing what I've seen throughout these past few um, <clears throat> months. Uh, but it's really, really good. I've seen uh, these robots really blew me away from you know 26 to first. Amazing robots. Everybody has done such hard work and done really, really uh, good. And I'm very proud of everyone. Thank you yep. to everybody, all of my wonderful judges and Nate organizing the challenge i uh, couldn't have done it yes. without you guys yep um one more thing. the catalyst for this challenge Ooh, good one. <laughs> yeah one more thing i noticed tyler put this in the twitch chat but i just want to say again there's taught there's a lot of cat challenges going on um deeds mentioned the caravan cat challenge and also f4 is going on um so be sure to check all the cat challenges out if you want to see more of this um that's what i got <laughs> yeah Make sure to tune in um, to all of the shows on First Updates Now. You can see them over at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. You can follow them over on their social media at funftc. And th thank you guys for having me. It was a pleasure to be here. Bye, everyone. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.